what is up everybody this is easy easy street gaming bring you a brutal age video something we've all been waiting for new partner new partner coming woody next five star i think it's gonna be another one of those game changers a little bit of speculation gonna go on in this video because we haven't seen a lot of gameplay as in none but we have all the stats we have everything to look at but because we don't have any gameplay, we decided to mix two different uh, topics in one. We have ranked matches. All of these matches are top 10 matches. Some of the best players from 3-2-3 taking on the world. First match, Tyler Durden. First, I'm about to quit. Could be another player. You're going to see some really good partners. If you guys are new to the game, these are all the elite partners of the game. Well, just try to give you a little breakdown of who's who, what's what's going on with uh, with each of the battles, and you'll notice that you're gonna see a lot of the same partners, a lot of the same combinations, uh, a lot of multiple partners in one match. For example, here we have Tyler Durden. He's got two Desert Princes, and also has Green Tusk and the the Red Fortune Teller, Red Prophet, all elite partners. All, all of them you get in events. You can't just get them sp spinning golden turtles no matter how many you spin. I've tried. If you notice with these elite partners, the, the elite players, these are not third awakened partners. These are maxed out. You'll notice that they have gold. The, the swords are gold. Their, their chest plates or their armor is gold. So these are sixth awakened for the most part. Some of them can't be sixth awakened. They can only be third awakened. So those are third awakened. So you'll notice that they may do a little more damage than yours if yours are third awakened. These are heavily in invested partners. Uh, I, I have none sixth awakened yet. I think fifth is the best I've got so far. And uh, the amount of time and energy it puts in to get sixth awakened is incredible so far. So hats off to all these guys. They've really put out a lot of effort to get to this point to give us th this kind of gameplay. And we also have a lot of competition uh, there within the server on these ranked matches because if you if you notice yours, you'll start off in your server, but then as soon as you win the first three or three to six matches, and you'll be in other servers. But then if you have a lot of good players in your server at the very end, you'll see all your all your own players again. So here's the second match. This is Tyler Durden once again. This is all this is the Tyler show. This this match taking on Big Helmet. This is uh, I believe number three is Big Helmet. Tyler's at number 10 or 11 or somewhere up there. A little, little different look this time. Tyler's coming with uh, two Desert Princes with the Nomad King, Green. So he'll get the first attack with Nomad King. And then he's got the, the Puppet Master. And she's a pretty intense partner too. There you see the Marionette's big skill. It's called Marionette's Protection. Everyone gets a shield. Uh, she's got these vengeance, vengeance marks that she uses. Another partner that... that collects marks and will unload all their power at one time sorry I'm having trouble breathing and there you see there you see the the prophet it, it, she's now established definitely in the top 10 on easy's list and another another party you have to get in uh in, in events so remember whenever you see the uh the special events that they give out the special partners do all you can to at least use the gems to, to buy the 10 uh, special turtles. At least you get one shot at it without having to spend any money. A lot of these players had to invest a lot of time, a lot of money to get all these partners that they have. If you look at the top of your list, if you're a newer player, you'll notice that all the five stars, all the, all the ones you think are great, they're all at the very bottom of the list. Some of these ones up at the top of the list are very, very difficult to get. And uh, some of these big players, they have two or three of them. It's uh, pretty incredible that they were able to acquire all that. On the slow team, there's a few things you have to do to have a slow team. You have to have the Green Nomad. You don't want any kind of speed as a leader skill. So you, so keep the speed off your left hand as well. And use uh, the Sire War Pattern on Green Nomad. He gets the first shot and you want to try to knock out whoever he's hitting first. Third match, this is Splash from 323 vs. Live. I think that's his name. It's in Chinese. Can't really read it. Splash is, he's got one of the best teams out there. This is the, the two, two Prince 
tricky task. Tricky is very difficult to kill. There's very few partners that can actually just kill him in one shot. And that's pretty much what you have to do. You have to take him all out in one shot because he's got the, the dodge and he dodges very well. And then you have also Tusk, which I have blue. I don't know how, why green source better, but it is. <laughs> with, the, with the Prince, you'll notice that everyone, and I mean everyone, pretty much uses them the same way. With that Sia Wolf, you want to make sure his critical damage, or critical rate, sorry, critical rate, which is going to be on the head. You make sure that critical rate is over 100, so you can try to compete up top. The war patterns are very important. Also, your artifacts are extremely important. If you don't have uh, a really good knowledge of the artifacts, then talk to the elders of your server. I'm sure there's someone that can explain them to you, if they have to explain to me. Here's some tricks on, tip, on tricky, tricky tips. Uh, one, don't ever bet against Tricky in the <laughs> in the partner arena. Every time I bet against him, I've lost. Um, don't use a blue team against Tricky because it just dodges everything. Uh, try to use the red team. The red Nomad King is is a is one good partner against Tricky. Uh, another is the the red uh, Prophet. If you have Tricky. Someone told me you can just feed Tricky to the Desert Prince and you can get like 3 for 1 on the Desert Prince. I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe that or not. <laughs> I think pretty much every battle that I've seen that that it has Tricky in it, if he is in the battle, he's, he'll be the last one standing on a loss. Changed my lineup as far as the top 10. I've got to have Tricky as number one partner in the game right now. Takes Desert Prince down to number 2. And if you go into the brood X, you can see what who and uh, who's using what war pattern. That's a really big help. You can it, it used to be that you you couldn't really find out who's using what except for the leaders of your server. But now you can go into the brood X and it lists all that in the brood X. So pretty cool uh, feature. Now we got the newest partner. It's called he's called Woody. Uh, we have the possible war patterns for him. He's one of the partners that does more damage with the higher defense. So. You're gonna have to consider using bull if you want to use six bull it's gonna have to be something that everyone plays with and then you're gonna have to kind of get with the, the best players because they're gonna investigate and talk to each other uh, as far as red goes he has entangled entangled vines kind of reminds me of like the tree man attack but it's a single attack it's an attack on one player or one one enemy and it also does stun so you may be able to use Saya as well so Saya and bull could be the, the war patterns you use uh, second attack is called uh, is Sylvan's Rage, which that's a familiar name of Sylvan. Uh, it's another single attack and it ignores the enemy defense. So, I mean, these don't seem like huge attacks really, but then the life essence, this is something that we haven't really seen before. It takes the health from his own team, like 15% from his own team, uh, from each player on, the, on his own team or each member of his own team. And then he attacks and does that much damage. And then he restores 15% of the action bar. Uh, and there's a chance to get the health back. It, it's kind of a complex attack, but it's, this could be another one of those big attacks. This is why I say that uh, Woody could be one of the one of the elite partners. They have him listed in the top three. I don't know if that actually means anything, but uh, the actual listing. Uh, and Blue also has Entangled Vines as the first attack, first skill. Second skill is Nature's Will. And this is something else we've never seen before, so it's going to be one of those things that we're going to have to kind of uh, wait to see exactly what it does, but it swaps the action bar from the, the largest action bar on the enemy team to the lowest on your team So it's going to constantly rejuvenate the action bar for someone then there's nature's embrace and that does the same as the action bar But it's actually swapping the hit point percentage largest hit point percentage on the enemy team with the smallest on your team and the CD on this is I think it's at six, but you'll be able to drop that down if you get a bunch of woodies, which Not many people will have that right away <laughs> So some some different looks. It looks like blue might be the number one partner as far as Woody goes. That remains to be seen. But as far as the the last two skills, I mean it's pretty big. It swapping the action bar. And that may not seem like a really big thing, but that that's going to prolong their first strike and make it their last, and immediately give you the the first strike from from their team. I don't know exactly how that's going to play out. <clears throat> Because I haven't seen this skill before. I don't think anyone's seen this skill. I don't know of any other partner that has 
these swap out skills but it's this seems like a, a new trend that I've been seeing a lot we've seen a lot of the marks where they're they're building up these marks and unloading big huge power on onto you and now we have these the swapping of the of the health swapping of the action bar so it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be something that we have to keep an eye on uh, I would expect to see Woody in the top of ranked matches as soon as he comes out which we are in an event right now that we're able to get the war not the war pattern, the, the artifact, which has a... Uh, I'm not even going to take a shot at this. Okay, well, uh, it looks like you drizzle for the new uh, artifact. New artifact to drizzle. Here's some of the, the basic stats on it when it's maxed out. New artifact for Woody. It's available now. I've already seen a couple guys on our server with it. All these artifacts are huge impacts on, on, the, on the game. Last green, Woody. Again, I, I'm, I'm thinking uh, stun and... and and bull I'll spit it out stun and bull uh, it has nature's will we've already seen the nature's will it, s it swaps the action bar and then they have inertia uh, uh, inertia aurora it slows the action bar for everyone on the, on the whole in the in the game at the time by 50% uh, and it's possible for Woody to gain 20% of the of the enemy if it's in CD kind of complicated but I, I think it's gonna be another one of those really big uh, really big skills and I did some investigating and I found where the other uh, Sylvan was and that was with Red Zero once you start awakening she also has a, the the uh, Sylvan and uh, that gives her the nature's blessing basically Sylvan I guess it's means coming from nature so these are tree hugging hippies pretty much <laughs> with swords so something else to think about maybe another partner that can go well with them especially when we have the swapping of the, the hit point percentage zero doesn't have a, a, a large hit point I think her she maxed out like four or five thousand so if you're in a, an elite match you may be able to swap her hit point with the largest on the other side which could be like the nomad king so matching her with 30,000 hit points instead of uh, 10 or 8 or however many it is so fourth match getting back into the matches this is both from 323 three. This is Splash vs. Tyler, both from 323, both in the same clan, good friends in the server, highly competitive in the ranked matches. Yeah, Splash is on the left, Tyler's on the right, and you'll, this is uh, Tyler's uh, two Red Ursa team. So two Red Ursa, and this is Splash's, uh, he's got the two big attackers, Ursa and the uh, Red God of Earth. So two big attackers, and then two big buff debuff partners, uh, the Green Tusk, and then you have uh, Blue Cha Cha, which does that pretty, pretty big. Um, deep off first for our team actually two of her attacks are, are buff slash debuffs she has allocrity which is a, a debuff for the other team uh, basically uh, no, I'm sorry allocrity is the buff for her team where she recovers the action bar for someone and uh, there's a bunch of uh, sub sub skills to go with it and then she has the big debuff for the other team where she steals her action bar and kills them all basically <laughs> So here, this is Tyler's defensive team, and remember, your defensive team is a lot harder to to win matches with because the other team can pick whoever they want to play against you. So he has the the two uh, red Arsa, then he also has the the red Prophet and the the maxed out green Desert Prince. So pretty impressive to take on an attack. And there we go talking in the middle of the recording. Why do I do that? Yeah, pretty impressive to be able to take on an attack from another player and they get to pick all of the team and is still not able not able to to win so an, an impressive run from Tyler I was uh, I was really impressed by all the replays we got went through about 15 or 20 different replays to, to, to get to get to the final ones that we sh showed on the channel had a lot of people participating uh, our server is in a server merge like yours probably is too we are merging with other servers. I just wanted to give a small note on that. If you're merging with another server, it is in my opinion that you should try to create peace as quickly as possible. If you're planning on a civil war, you'll kill your server. Just saying. So go to the other server. See if you can't create peace. Do what you have to do to create peace. Last match. Number one. Ranked number one. Jules. The Tigress. First, Project Mayhem. Also known as Tyler Durden. Where does that come from? Anyone know? Jules on the left, Tyler on the right. No. Jules on the right, Tyler on the left. Tyler's using the two prints. 
the green tusk red profit jewels on the right she's got an incredible team put together actually and this is her on defense so tyler got to pick uh the team out to, to play against this team uh, she has the green tricky and then the rest of the blue team the blue marionette blue bape and blue De blue uh nomad king and you notice that he's got the the two dozen prince which they're the, the knockout specialist so he's got he's got jewels pretty much knocked out the whole time problem is and you'll see at the end of this match that even though he takes out a bunch of her partners she still he still has one he has to contend with um if you've watched in the past we have a video out of tricky when he first came out and she was sitting in number one and she took on several different players without any help just tricky by himself and she was able to win the number one uh ranked matches with one partner just by him by himself now people know a little more about tricky now that, that there are certain partners that you can use to, to damage tricky You have to have a big red partner that can do a lot of damage at one time And because he's gonna dodge and dodge and dodge especially at the end uh, when, when you see the graphics change on him, he's, and it looks like he's kind of struggling. He's knocked out He's about to go down. That, that's when he's the most dangerous uh, It's pretty incredible really. That's why I think tricky's number one partner I've heard a lot of people a lot of good players say that he's way over uh, rated but uh, I've watched a bunch of matches with him. He's still going to be my number one pick. We'll see what Woody does. Woody may change that. Uh, you know, the, de the development team does a, a lot of research and, and tries really hard not to let the new partners just completely take over. But they're gonna, they usually have to do a little adjustment after they bring him in. So now you see, Tricky's taking on the entire team. I've seen him come back and win in these, in these right here. But we have one person on the other team, the Red Prophet, Red Fortune Teller. Uh, she can block Tricky's main, his passive skill, which is the dodge, with amnesia, and also throw down really big attacks. So, Tyler Durden, Project Mayhem, winner, big winner, takes out Jules, rare thing. Uh, well, she still has 2,300 points compared to his 1,200, so he's gonna have to win a few more times to take number one from her, like 50 or 60. It can happen. <laughs> appreciate everyone for watching leave comments down in the comment section if you if you're watching this and you already have woody let me know how it is i, I want to get some uh i want to get some replays of woody in live action you can hit me up online online it is atl -E -Z -E. atl -E -Z -E online you can send me replays if you have them there appreciate everyone for watching till next time it's been easy take care